all to another bourbon tournament entry video. I am your King of Extreme, Phil KOE, joined by a couple of indomitable broadcast partners. The returning... Germs, how you doing? And the one and only... Blendmaster, Tony G, like, share, subscribe. Ooh, boy. We are getting a little deeper, and we're going to have another entrant today, Heaven Hill Distillery. I was able to find this uh, interesting little sample box, just a tasting experience, five 100 milliliter bottles, and this has three bourbons in it. So I figured, why not? This is going to be your shot into the bourbon tournament. Actually, I, I will need that in a little bit. It's got all of the... Oh, yep. Here, yeah, actually, hand it to Tony. Here. He can start. Yeah. What are we starting off with? Uh, let me just get these three out of the way here. 300 milliliter bottles. It also comes with a bottle of Pikesville Rye and a mm. bottle of Brenheim Original Kentucky Straight Wheat Whiskey, which keep your eyes in this space mm. for the... Those reviews. We got plans for that. Put those on the table, sir. We will see you another time. You think? Yes. So, would I'm going to start off with Elijah Craig Small Batch. Will you please read what it says on the back there? Elijah sir? Craig Small Batch Bourbon, 94 proof, 8 to 12 years old. Uh, known as the father of bourbon, Elijah Craig is credited as the first distiller to age his whiskey in charred oak barrels to make bourbon. Today we honor him by hand selecting and marrying small batches of, of 8 to 12 year old barrels for the perfect balance of flavor. That's pretty uh, pretty impressive. All right, now Larceny. What can you tell us about Larceny? Tony's personal favorite whiskey of all this time. This is one of my least favorite bourbons ever. <laughs> I've never liked it. I had a very bad experience the first time I've tried it, and I'm hoping that my palate has matured since then. You can go pretty light on mine. I'm not really oh, looking forward Tony. to it. So hopefully I couldn't changed. dream of that. Larceny, Kentucky Straight Bourbon. 92 proof, no age statement, with a pedigree that traces back to the historic Old it's Fitzgerald almost... brand. Ooh. Good God. <laughs> I, I've got another bottle over there. If you'd like me to give you some more, pardon me. Are are you are, are you upset? Okay. Uh, where was I? I might With a have you. pedigree that traces back to the historic Old Fitzgerald brand, famously made with a whisper of wheat. Larceny uses wheat as the small grain instead of the traditional rye for a softer, rounder taste profile. That all sounds like bullshit to me. Because this is an offensive bourbon, in my opinion. It sounds like you're you... really not looking to have this make it onto the next round because there's not much left in that vial there, Phil. Oh, I'll get another one if I have to, too. Well, and we you, are... You've already offended me by replacing the ride. Yeah. And we are moving on to the Evan Williams, Evan Williams Single Barrel Vintage. This is 86.6 proof, 7 to 8 years old. Uh, a, a low age statement and... A pretty pretty low ABV, honestly. As the only vintage dated single barrel bourbon, the individual barrels that are hand selected for Evan Williams single barrel meet the stringent flavor profile of each year's unique vintage. So honestly, I'm pretty excited for that one as well. And I'll just put that nah. Alrighty. So we start off with the Elijah Craig. Okay. Not offensive. No, it's a it's a soury sweet. Very light nose. It is very light. You really got to get in there. And I'm get, trying. It just it just smells very. It's, it's not a, it's not offensive, but it's not. It's almost not uh, there. It yeah. smells like a mash whiskey. I don't have a lot of experience in mash whiskey, so I can't really speak to that. But it almost uh, smells like it, it, it's got rye in it, but it, well, it's very light. You're right. Well, let's see if it hits the palate because I, I'm trying to pull some aroma out of this. Here we go. Well, 
much spicier on the palate. Yep. Hmm. And that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, spicy, but what? Uh, yeah, it's it's you're you're getting the spiciness, and you're waiting for another flavor Something. profile, but that's just about it. It's so light on the nose, and then it's some spice and some wood. It, yeah, that's really yeah, just wood spice. It's smooth. Canadian. God, as much as I hate to yeah. say, the nose reminded me of Canadian, and just how it was light and. No yeah, it's like if you there. dumped pepper into a Canadian whiskey. You tried to, sp- you tried to spice it. All righty, so, all right, guys. Huh. As a bourbon, how are you gonna rate this? I'm gonna not be kind. I'm gonna uh, go two stars. Oh, I was. Uh, I was gonna go two and a half. Just, I, I mean, I won't give it under. I happen. could drink this if I wanted a bourbon. Uh, I'll go 2.75. I'm not going it's three. Great. It's still going to have a two in front of it. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, in terms of shelving, this would be a bottom, bottom. shelf for me. Um, I'm sure that, like, this is the kind of whiskey I know certain people, this would be their favorite whiskey mm-hmm. in the world. But, yeah, if, if that's your moi. if that's your forte, like, this would excel if this is the profile you like. It's just... It's nothing notable. It's no. smooth and it's approachable, but... It is. Hmm. It's, it's definitely... I, it makes me wonder it's what the Elijah intro. makes me wonder what the Elijah Craig age statements are. I've seen Which, an eighteen year a couple of times, but they wanted like one hundred and fifty bucks for it. So. And this is eight to twelve years old. Yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Maybe that helps the smoothness. With I guess, but we will see. Now Not complex. We move onward and upward to Larceny, Great. Tony's <laughs> favorite whiskey. That he's ever had, I'm sure. Don't expect much. Is there a story behind Larceny? There's some story on the back of the bottle about somebody that liked bourbon when he ran a No, warehouse. I mean that, that Tony doesn't like. He had a bottle of it and said, here, try this. It was and I had a gut ache. the cheapest bottle I've ever had. It was on sale at Walmart for $11. Mm. You overpaid by about 9 bucks. So let's see if that was just a bad batch or self checkout and you just walk out. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't look cross if it was larceny. Yeah, so I there's nothing there. There's nothing. Again, there's nothing there. A grain, not sweet. I'm getting some now, wheat in there. I, I actually took a taste after I tasted it, but there's nothing on the nose. Mm. All right. No, oh, no, the aftertaste. No, it is a bitter aftertaste. It's got. It's it's still hot, on the end. It's sweet hot, but not like a, frolicky sweetness. Like a, a stagnant sweetness. I'm. Not, yeah, it's it's better than the last time I had it, but. Significantly. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you no, had a I bad bottle. Yeah, it's that, still not blowing me well, away. Well, they're small batch. It tried to be small. So I think it was yeah. just a bad batch. Okay. That So this one is... We can compare the two, but... Reminds me a little bit of Mellow Corn and how it's so yeah. mellow, which comes from this distillery. But yeah, Mellow Corn, like, compared to the other corn whiskey that we had, there was just a lot more flavor there. Oh, yeah. I, I think it's kind of a signature of heaven hill that they've got a very muted flavor profile that doesn't offend there's nothing that jumps out at you here that goes oh okay i can see this and oh if i let it breathe i can i can get notes of this it's just it's just it's whiskey it's bourbon you're getting the heat not even really though i just i mean it's not even it's no there i'm not getting the heat it's it's like huh that, that brown that, water. <laughs> this isn't peppermint. This isn't. This is just like you took a whiskey and you put pepper in your whiskey. It's like table pepper. Now we'll get to a possible solution to this. Huh. But all right, folks. As a whiskey, or not actually as a bourbon, how would you rate this? Two. Two. That sounds fair. Yeah. Two. two. Yeah. It, it, there's just, it's there's not a lot there. No. It's, One seven five. Thank you. It's 
You've sold Sorry. me. 175. <laughs> hey! All right. As uh, for shelving, this is well bottom. Well, here. Let me just give away. Here. We're just going to. Ouch. Yeah, that one's not going to make Sorry, it. that's not going to make the cut. Okay, so. Boy, all right. So now it's down to Evan Williams' single barrel mm -hmm. single as barrel. the last bastion of hope for the Heaven Hill Distillery. I can't believe that it's coming down to Evan Williams because this I thought Elijah Craig was going to knock it. I did too. I really expected more out of Elijah Craig. I've heard good things. This smells like alcohol. Evan Williams. Yeah. Evan Williams. This actually has some. Is like the. The bourbon Get corn in this. Evan Williams is the bourbon answer to Jack Daniels. If you consider Jack Daniels not bourbon, it's it's look. Jack Daniels not bourbon and never will be. It is. The bottle looks exactly like Get Jack used to Daniels. That Even with the squiggles. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, right, Tony, it give, looks. Give this like a nose. This actually you're getting corn. Oh yeah. Sweet, the sweet element. Corn. Buttery. I was just going to say butter. Yeah, like a buttered sweet corn cob that you're about to munch on. This is actually pretty pleasant on the nose. It's good that one of the three does something. Well, I was going to say, like, it's not like it had a lot to live up to. Huh. All right. I've seen bottles of this particular for, like, 25 bucks. A little more oily on the, on the palate. Mm hmm Not. The oil, yeah, the immediate. And it mutes what you think is going to be a pretty hot heat. Yeah, I, I was just going to say, it starts to get hot, and then it kind of just dissipates. It smells hotter than it is. It is, yeah. That's actually fair. Um, yeah, no, that hmm. that's definitely better than I expected. Yeah, there's definitely corn forwardness. I'm going to guess this is at least 70% corn in the mash bill. Yeah. Um, hmm. And a barley, maybe, maybe some rye, and probably not much else. Um... And single barrels usually their best offering, right? It's usually either Debatable, single barrel yeah. or small batch. A small, yeah. batch. A small batch you can kind of round the edges, but single barrel is kind of the new thing now. And this is kind of Evan Williams' response to, like Tony said, the, the Jack, Jack Daniels Daniel single barrel, which is not a bourbon in a movie. It is. Nope. Uh, I'm gonna try and see how fast I can say that. But uh, so. Hmm. It's definitely the most complex As of the three. A bourbon, I'm gonna give this two seven five. Yeah, exactly. That's where I was headed with it. Yeah, Just I, tell me why I'm wrong. No, I can't go three. I'm gonna agree. Two point seven five. All right, sweet. Now, in terms of shelving, <sighs> this one is bottom, but it could have some potential if I had a lot of room to make it on my middle shelf. Like I said, people like to read single barrel. All right, yeah. I I yeah. I wouldn't have Evan Williams, but I'd have Evan Williams single barrel. Yep. There you go. That's I, all right. That's fair. Um, maybe we should put this one up against the standard. Maybe we should try. I don't know. We might give the Evan yeah. Williams line a shot as an appeal. Yeah. But that, that might is be coming. Fair. That is coming in the future. And also, if we have to, you know, wait a week for chicken to get here. But yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go with bottom. I I can't put this on the middle. I'm gonna go bottom. It's still a well for me. I mean, it's drinkable. It's definitely more complex than the other two. There's uh, notes in here that I really do like, but this is still a. It's an affordable mixer bourbon to me. Yep, I've seen this for anywhere from twenty two to twenty seven dollars. Mm -hmm, exactly. So, um. Out of the three, I think it's pretty easy to say that Evan Williams Let me knocked just this. Take care yep, of that. yep, knocked that out of the so, park. I'm sorry. Did anybody have any? Nope. No. Not an objection. Okay. Evan Williams single barrel walked away with it, and it's so corn forward. You know, you gotta support your local corn farmer. Now, Tony, I was about to say it's time for your blend master skills to see if there is a way. Okay. Here we go. To fix the problems here. Okay. I'm going to take the Elijah Craig. May I join you? Yep. Yes, please do. I'm going to take the Elijah Craig. Watch the blend master as he goes. I'm going to take the Evan Williams. I'm going to mix those together. I'm going to spill that around. And you just skip. And then I'm going to take the Lars. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you could have done that. <laughs> All okay. right. My dog would have probably like smelled and be like, what in the We're world? We're going to just do enough for flavor. And then, yeah. 
Yep. Oh, yeah. Tony's not a fan of the. Uh, Sorry, Larceny. Uh, 0 for two on, on that one. Maybe this helps complement and bring in a new flavor profile. Let's find out. Actually, Evan Williams and Elijah Craig do go together quite well. They complement each other. It kind of honeys it up. Honestly, yeah, I probably should have just left the larceny out because that's all I'm tasting. Yeah. That, that's it. Honest Tony God, cannot drink whiskey that that's little, larceny and not taste it. That little bit that I put in took over the entire blend. Uh, D plus. Ouch. Because of larceny. Uh, just the Evan yeah. Williams and Elijah Craig, I'd give it a B. Hmm. Larceny. Epic fail. Ah, I, you know, I, I was really expecting more because... I see Were you? so many people. Were you really? Yes, because I see so many people rave about larceny. About yeah, how I, I have to have a bottle of larceny on hand at all times. And why? why? No. There's so many better. No. I've had so much better bourbon. From this. From the same, the same people that, yeah, The same from, people that shit on Blanton's are the people that like larceny. Yeah. There from, I said it. Ouch. Well, those are people you can't find Blanton's. So we've got to find a bottle of Evan Williams. I know exactly where to get this for like twenty some bucks. So perfect, no problem at, no problem at all. So Evan Williams single barrel vintage, you have advanced. And you know what? I like it or not. I actually did like that little sampler because it allowed us to try all these whiskeys without having to buy the full yeah. bottle. So thankfully, and, yeah, thankfully. So folks, as mm -hmm. I'm known to say around here. All that being said, thank you for joining us for this Heaven Hill Distillery Review. I am your King of Extreme, Phil KOE, signing off and handing it off to my indomitable broadcast partners. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. I was going to say that. Uh, Germs. And the mostly, no, I'll just say it, Larceny disappointed me. Tony G. Like, share, subscribe, of course, all that. Stay right here for the Sweet 16 Bourbon Tournament. Again, Larceny never was going to make it.